Hi everyone, I hope everyone has an amazing day. In today's episode, we're going to examine Svelte Fetching Data. How can we do that in a simple way? Here we have our Diamond Fake Store API, which is on the web. And we are then now in read documentations. And from here, I'm going to get all products. I'm going to copy this link. Don't worry, Svelte Fetching Data is very simple. Nothing to worry about it. I open my VS Code and I have here ready my Svelte setup. It's ready. If you don't know how to install Svelte on your computer, I will leave the link in the description. I have a previous video. I'm explaining how to install Svelte in the right way. Now here, in order to do that, obviously I have to do some script. I'm gonna write JavaScript. Inside the script tag, I'm gonna get say, I'm gonna get some import here. I'm gonna import on mount from Svelte. Okay. Import this. I'm gonna do a global variable. I'm gonna say products. It's gonna be an empty array. I don't want it to be everything separately. And here now, in order to fetch the data, I'm going to use the amount method and open it. It says I want a function here. In order to fetch data from web, remember that you have to do it in a synchronous way. I'm going to name it right now, asynchronous. i make my function here. And here, I'm going to count the data. I'm going to, because it's a promise, it has to be in a wait. And here I'm going to paste my fetch link, which I copied from Fake Store API. And secondly, I'm going to get the result. I'm going to check in a wait data. And from here, I'm going to get the JSON method. I want to like JSON. I'm going to the console log thing and see what is the result. I'm saving it. And here I'm going to say npm run dev. Waiting to load. I'm clicking the link. Here I fetch my data. I'm going to press F12. And as you can see now in console log, we have the data came from the fake store API. We have the category, we have the ID, obviously. We have the image, the price, the rating, the SRA. But for today's video, I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to get the ID and the title. I'm closing the console log window, I'm deleting the console log, but instead of results, I'm going to equal it to products, which is my empty array. And here in Svelte, in order to map the data, which we are fetching from uh, web, I have to do something special. I'm going to do the hashtag. I'm going to say each. And from here, I'm going to say from products as product. I want to export it as product here. And for each product, I'm gonna, I, I have to give a key, which is going to be product, product.id. This is our key. And now I'm fetching the data. I'm going to get the H3 header. I'm going to write some JSX code here because it's JavaScript. I'm going to say product, product.id. And in the second, I'm going to get the title, as I said, from the fetching data that I've get from Fake Store API title. I'm going to save it. 
and open my browser as you can see now we fetched each single data from the face store api i'm going to do a simple example here i'm going to put the data side by side and i'm going to change it instantly instead of this i'm going to put a dash for save and see each dot change dash I'm going to keep this video simple, short. Thanks for watching me. If you want to see more contents like this, felt tutorials, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Do it right now and see you in the next video. Until then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.